let's talk about how we can use dominoes to do some math because part of the fun thing about math is that we can do it at home. We can do it all the time with just a couple of different tools, right? And dominoes are one of those. If you have dominoes at home, use those. If you don't have dominoes at home, I have these paper ones that you can um, make yourself, right? I just printed out pa these papers and then glued it to make dominoes. Dominoes we can use in a lot of different ways, right? We can match numbers with dominoes, right? That's what they're supposed to be used for. If I, I can match these two sixes together, these threes together, these fours together, and make a train of dominoes. That's how dominoes are, that's how the game of dominoes is played, right? We match the numbers. But when we use them for math, we usually use them to do addition or subtraction with. So let's look at that. Now, so that if you have dominoes at home, or if you want to make dominoes at home, you can use them to do addition and subtraction if you're getting as a way to help you with getting faster at addition, right? Before we go to first grade, we like to know all of our addition facts up to 10, and we like to be able to, to remember them quickly. And the way we get there is by add, adding and subtracting as much as possible. So let's try it. Let's see. So this one... On one side is a 6, and on one side is a 3. So we can add those together, right? 6 plus 3. Dominoes give us the option, right, of counting all the dots. Or we can try to do that math in our heads or on our fingers or use a different strategy, right? 6 plus 3 equals 6, 7, 8, 9. 9. So then I can write that down. Or I can draw a picture to go with it, or I can come up with a story problem that might match 6 plus 3, right? There were 6 hot dogs. I made 3 more. How many hot dogs do I have now? I could also do a subtraction problem with this, right? I could do 6, and then I could take away 3. Then I have to count backwards, right? 6, 5, 4, 3. So I can use this... It's easier to add because I just have to count them all up, but I can also do subtraction. If I do subtraction, though, I have to start with the bigger number. If I'm doing addition, it doesn't really matter. So I can use dominoes to come up with addition and subtraction problems. Uh, I like to sort them. This one equaled 9, so I like to sort them by the sum or what it equals. So let's see. What's this? 5 plus 6. 5 plus 6, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, right? If I do it, I've got to flip it to do subtraction, right? 6, take away 5, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, right? I can do it both ways. This equaled 11 when I added it together. Let's see, let's try my next domino. Four and four plus two. Let's see. Four plus two equals four, five, six. Four take away two equals two. Right? So here I'm working on writing my addition and subtraction problems down while I'm going. This one equals six. I have all of these dominoes I can work my way through, right? 4 plus 4 equals 8. 4 take away 4 equals 0. What I like to do is I like to put them in number order, right? So right now I have 6. 8, 9, 11. So I'm missing some numbers. Let's see. 2 plus 2 equals 4. 2 take away 2 equals 0. That one's going down here. 
four, five, six, seven equals seven. Four take away three equals one. This equals seven, so it goes between six and eight. Okay, let's see. Zero plus six equals six. Six take away zero equals six. This one also equals, this one equals six, so does this one, right? Four, five, six, so I'm gonna stack them on top of each other. Because they both equal six. I like to try to find the domino that has, what number happens the most in dominoes. I, I don't know, I think it might be six, but I, I could be wrong, so you try it and see. Three plus zero equals three. 3 take away 0 equals 3. That one's going there. 5 plus 5. 5 take away 5 equals 0. This is a 10, right? So it goes after 9 but before 11. 3 plus 3 equals 6. 3 take away 3 equals 0. This one's going on top of my 6 pile. 1. And 1 take away 0 equals 1. This one's going here. Let's see. 2 plus 3 equals 5. 3 take away 2 equals 1. This is going on top of, oh, do I not have a 5 yet? 5, okay. 6 plus 6. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. That's going way down here after 11. So it's 12. And then 6 take away 6 equals 0. Let's see, 1 plus 3 equals 4, 3 take away 1 equals 2, this one is going on top of the 4 pile, 6 plus 1 equals 7, 6 take away 1 equals 5, this is going on top of the 7s. 5 plus 4 equals 9. 5 take away 4 equals 1. Oh, I can sort my dominoes in two ways, right? I can sort them by what they equal when I'm adding them together, or I can sort them by what they equal when I subtract them. Well, look at this one. 0 plus 0. 0 plus 0 equals 0. 0 take away 0 also equals 0, right? Let's see. 5 plus 2 equals 7. 5 take away 2 equals 3. I have to put that on top of my 7s. This is what my whiteboard looks like ooh, so far. If you've been practicing along with me, or should look similar, or could look similar. Let's see. 6 plus 2 equals 8. 6 take away 2 equals 4. 5. Uh oh, I've run out of room on my whiteboard. Let's just sort these last couple. 5 goes here. This one just equals 2. I don't have a 2 yet. This one equals 4. 6 plus 4 equals 10. 5 plus 3. 5, 6, 7, 8. 2 plus 1 is 3. 2 plus 1 plus 1 is 2. This is 5 plus 1 is 6. I'm definitely missing some dominoes from this bag, but try this at home. Try to see if you can put 
your dominoes in order by what they equal, either addition, either adding or subtracting. Write down your addition sentences and send me a picture when you're done. Good luck.